Hi, this video is going to cover the new groove quantizing features of Ableton Live 8. I think it's one of the better new features of this new version because the old versions were fairly limited in how you could control a groove, offering generally just a global shuffle parameter. And there was a way to create a, uh, a swing in each of the clips by using this strength parameter and uh, 16T but the new features are, are much better and give you a lot more control. So in order to access it, we need to go to, over to the groove pool and it's going to be this icon here that brings that up and toggles it back down again. So once we have the groove pool, we can drop clips inside of that and adjust them. To actually see the presets themselves, we need to get them into the browser, which I already have, but if you don't, you can bring up the uh, the context menu and go to Browse Groove Library and then you'll get all the presets. If you look through these we have a combination of uh, some musical style based presets like hip-hop, rock and percussion and then there's some classic templates based off of uh, machines that are known for their groove and swing feel. And we have a Logic. You've got the Akai NPC. I'm not sure which one of the NPCs that they used. Uh, but they all use the same basic uh, swing settings, although the timing of the actual hardware was different. I'm not sure if they took these settings from the hardware output, you know, or maybe from one of the newer machines just by uh, exporting a mini file. The Atari Notator, which I used to use quite often, so I'm happy to see that. Uh, you have the SB12 as well, which is another old machine. Now the output of this could have either been the uh, MIDI out playing in MIDI sequence or they could have taken the audio output and just analyzed uh, the waveforms using warp markers like I'll show in a little bit and do it that way. But uh, the beauty of this is that then you get the actual timing and perfections of the hardware where some of the other grooves like the uh, Notator and Logic ones are probably just taken from MIDI files so it's just going to be the uh, it's going to just be the quantizing done within the sequencer, but it doesn't take into account the drift from the, the, the output of the hardware. So let's go ahead and uh, apply one of these to my MIDI part here. Go ahead and go with Notator, and I'll go with this say D, fairly strong swing. Now if you ever see A, B, C, D, that's just the equivalent of percentages. A is always going to be 50%, and then B is going to be something like 54. C might be 56, 58, and so on and so on. So if you're used to seeing swing as a percentage, A, B, C, and D, and so on, is going to be the equivalent to that. So let's go ahead and put D in here. And go to my clip, which I have 16th notes in. And down at the clip parameters, we have a groove menu. Now if I didn't have any templates into the pool, you wouldn't see it here. Only the things in the pool show up here, obviously. And then I can select that. And it's going to be real time. So if I turn it off, that's no swing to 16th. And then with it on, you should hear a fairly heavy swing. Now the commit button will actually apply that to the notes and make it permanent. And you can see there it shifted the two and the four for every quarter note. That's how swing works. You're just taking the two and the four and shifting it over to the right. The harder the swing, the more it shifts it to the right. Go ahead and undo that. So one of the things that's important to understand here is that this swing is going to be iterative when you apply it so you're going to keep getting more and more and more swings. Let's go back down to say a, a B. I'll choose that instead. If I commit it, you see I get a little bit of swing. If I select it again, it's going to add on top of that. It's going to take this note as its reference point. So you can see it got shifted even further. So because of that, the swing is always looking at whatever the notes currently are and then applying the swing to it. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes in other programs, if you apply a swing to some MIDI, 
it's first going to quantize it to a regular sixteenth and then it's going to put the swing onto it so in that sense it's going to clean up your performance get it perfectly rigidly sixteenth and then put the swing on top of that so your swing is always going to be the same each time when you do that because even if you put in some slight variations in your timing those are going to get eliminated initially and then the swing applied to it is going to be consistent each time that you do it whereas with the normal mode of the way Ableton is going to apply swing is that it just takes whatever the notes are there and shifts them over so if they're slightly off in this case we've already applied swing to them or maybe if you played it apart that was slightly off if you then apply swing to it it's going to take whatever notes that you had if they're a bit off and just make them have some swing on top of that it's going to add to it but sometimes you don't want that because sometimes you do want your performance cleaned up first and then swung and you can actually do that with one of the parameters in the groove pool so let's do that let's uh... let's actually put a couple more on here just to illustrate that point i'll put one more 16b and you can see it's pretty heavily quantized now it's almost all the way over to another sixty uh, fourth so if i keep adding it again it keeps getting more and more but what if we don't want that what if we just want 16b again because this isn't 16b anymore this is 16b you know done five times so what you can do is if you go to 16b in my pool and you have the base at 16 if you then put quantize up what that does is it in, before it does the groove template quantize it does a just a basic straight quantize first so in this case 100% so it's going to take these notes make them 16th notes and then it's going to apply 100% timing so I'm going to get the full effect of the 16B so in this case again we have this this part that was 16B you know three or four times which is giving it a very heavy swing maybe I just want to go back to just whatever 16B is supposed to be just um, you know what the actual template represents because maybe you've quantized three or four times and now you've lost what the initial template was supposed to be about so now if I apply this groove what's going to happen is these are going to get quantized back to the normal values and then 16b is going to be applied and see what happens see it went back first it went back all the way and then from there it then put the 16b on so it didn't add on top of what we had it first reset everything back to regular 16th and then put the quantize so so depending on what you need if you want to keep some of your playing and maybe you played off a little bit and it's cool but you just need a little bit of swing applied well you can do that without this being set and just turn it down or if you played and maybe it's a bit sloppy and you're afraid the swing is going to make it even sloppier you can have this on that'll clean up your notes and then put the swing on top of that now we're going to get just this whatever this happens to be strictly without any of the uh, the variation that might have existed uh, previously in the clip.